Well, 10 years ago, we got word about a photographer in Grant County who was taking a picture of a tree. We had to check it out, and quite honestly, it's one of my favorite traveler stories. That tree is this week's Traveler Throwback Thursday. Mark Hirsch is a professional photographer, used to be a newspaper man. Now a freelancer, he travels the rolling hills of the driftless area of southwestern Wisconsin every day. One day, he decided to stop and take a picture of a tree. I've been driving by this thing for 20 years, you know. I'm a hunter, fisherman, mountain biker, so I appreciate the outdoors, but I'd never made a frame of this thing. Mark just got a new iPhone, so for fun, he decided to take a picture with it, of the tree. When he got home and downloaded it, he couldn't believe his eyes. Well, I was, I was astounded, and I was, I literally, my thought was, you gotta be kidding me, it's just ridiculous. So whenever Mark was in the area, he makes the hike from Airport Road about a quarter of a mile through a cornfield to snap a shot or two of this tree. He posted them online. Then... On March 23rd, a friend of mine sent me a note on Facebook. He's like, dude, what's with you and that tree? You should do a photo a day with it. And so March 24th, I officially started it, and that's where the name came from. That dude, that tree. What what's with you and that tree? <laughs> and a year-long journey began. Every day, sometimes a couple times a day, Mark came down to take a picture of that tree. Did it become uh, a chore? You know, it, it never did. Um, it became a commitment, but uh, I, I, I was never stressed by the process. Frankly, it was an escape. With this, the tree doesn't move. It just kind of sits there looking pristine on the horizon line, and, and I don't have an arsenal of lenses to, to fall back on. And I would just come down here, and it was kind of a contemplative escape from reality and um, kind of liberating. Didn't have any gear, just an iPhone. Just an iPhone, a professional eye, and a vivid imagination. Early on, it was relatively easy. I mean, it's, it's a really, it's a beautiful tree. I mean, you look at the form of it, it's kind of in an interesting spot. It's got this precarious existence on the fringe of a cornfield. Astonishing to me that it's still there. And uh, yeah, made absolutely. what I would say were easy, nice compositions for the first two or three weeks. And then, then all of a sudden, I kind of hit the wall, and I'm like, holy crap, now what am I going to do? What Mark did was to press on. Then one day, 205 days to go, and then I'm wandering around and I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, oh my gosh, 205 days to go, what have I gotten myself into? And I just, I just chilled and slowed down and took a walk around the tree and, and I, I think that was on or about the time I, I photographed a moth or something, you know, I don't remember exactly what the picture was, but you know, I, like many days after that, I stopped worrying about it. He stopped worrying about it and started snapping pictures. Every day for a year, through the snow and the heat, the good weather and the bad, Mark visited that tree. No vacations, no days off, and a funny thing happened along the way. He made a new friend. Do you feel a connection with oh, this? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Yeah, and I, re I refer to it in the female sense. I mean, I call it, you know, her. When I first started the project, you know, I was talking about, oh, I'm taking pictures of this tree in a cornfield. And then, then it's taken on a, a whole different level of appreciation, respect. Respect for a tree that started as an acorn 163 years ago. She has weathered those years well, that tree. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. 365 pictures of that tree, it leaves you nearly speechless. Traveling near Platteville, I'm Mark Kane, WISC News 3. And a lot has happened in these subsequent 10 years, so we decided to revisit Mark, and boy, what's unfolded in that time is simply amazing. We'll update that tree story a week from today on News 3 Now at 6. Cannot wait to see it, what happens 10 twist, years later. Twists and turns along and the way. And he made a book and printed it, all of those It's pictures. available on uh, on Amazon. It's a spectacular book. There's thousands, hundreds of pictures in this, in this book. It's such an incredible idea. It really is. Oh, I can't wait to see the update. Okay, next Thursday. Next Thursday at, si today. at 6. Yeah.